Marauders issue eight. So we start off with Emma Frost and Christian giving these kids a tour of Kokoa and where they be doing their medicine at the flower. And right here we see her uh, showing off Forge's uh, stuff that he made, using only what grows in Krakoa. Then she was about to take him to Magneto's secret island, then to the Savage Land. That's when we hear Bishop talking to uh, Frost to her head. He tells her that he's been trying to reach out to telepaths, but he couldn't. He says the cocoons are acting like an uh, antenna blocking that stuff. He tells her that he's on a salvage ship above a wreck that just happened a couple hours in Madripoor and that he need backup. That's when he see Kitty out in the water look like she drowned. He tells them to bring Calvary here. So she ends the trip with the kids. Then they head over to Madripoor. Here are all the mutants you'll see in this issue. So Emma calls Iceman. Iceman is like, I don't know where uh, Bishop or Kate is at. So Emma Frost tells him, you need to steal yourself or what must I tell you? He's like, what is it? What's wrong? So back over at the ship where Bishop at, one of the guards had grabbed Kitty out the uh, water. Bishop runs up on him and knock him the fuck out. So he opens up the body bag and confirms that Kitty died. He grabs a string and puts it on him and takes it for evidence. Another guard pops out and tries to warn the other people about there's beauties on board. Bishop takes him out. Bishop tells Emma, you need to hurry up before I die. Emma tells him basically, make it to the stern of the ship or go somewhere safe. He's like, what do you mean? That's when the boat got stopped by an iceberg. The whole boat started getting cold, right? That's when they realized, like, the Marauders are here. They's like, who cares? If Magneto ain't on the side, then Iceman can't get in. That's when you see one of the guards trying to take his clothes off. Right? He like, I'm burning up. Then they was like, look, as the door starts to freeze, then Iceman busts the door open. They try to shoot at Iceman, but dude finger was so fucking cold, it breaks off. Bishop runs in and tells Iceman to stop, because he was about to kill him. He was like, yeah, mutant law is that we can't kill no man. But an eye for an eye is man's law as he rips dude's arm off. Then he says, frostbites never heal. When you get, when you do, you'll be able to remember this. Carry this with you will, as a reminder. He tell him never to take uh, arms against him again. And if they felt like they've been mistreated today, then they know where he lived at. Then they teleport to where Emma at. They say they finna head to Arbor Mine. So Emma tells Storm what's going on, right? Storm is hurt in the motherfucker. She's like, where the fuck was you? Emma was like, I can ask the same thing. I told y'all to be with her. Storm smacked the shit out of her ass. Then she said, I know you was doing something important. Delivering our people to Krakow. Emma was like, she died alone. <laughs> Emma hugs her and tells her it's okay. And basically tells her that to don't give up hope. We bringing Kate back. And tells her if she can turn into her diamond form and let Storm smack her around to make her feel better. Meet up with Sebastian Shaw and his son. We get a new Black Knight, Fenris. Falls is read this little dialogue. It's about Fenris. Then we meet up with the people that got locked. The old dude wanted to sell him, right? Because they thought he was sick and didn't have no fire. Then he burst fire. He's like, you're wrong, father. And that's the end of that. 